everybody, it's Sean from Our Vision Nomadic Living. And in this episode, my father-in-law and I are going to install the GoPower Elite Solar Package in his 348 RLS Open Range fifth wheel. Come along and follow us on the install. We've got the GoPower Elite Package, which includes two panels, including the inverter install kit, the converter, inverter, which we will open momentarily. We're trying to make a determination where exactly to run the solar cable down from the solar panels down to the charge controller and I think we've got that figured out. So I'm gonna get up on the roof. All right everybody, so I've popped off the bent cap and now I'm gonna run the lines right down that pipe. So I'm running these wires down alongside this pipe which saved us having to actually drill a hole through the roof. I did have to drill a hole in the vent cap, but that's okay. Okay, pull them both. Whoa! So we've run the lines down alongside that vent pipe. We took the little panel out on the inside of this cupboard, right on down, and out here through the fuse box. So now we're going to mount the solar controller, the inverter controller, right on this wall here. So we went ahead and ordered an additional 100 watt panel to maximize the system and that's the smaller panel there. What I've done is I've cut the boxes open, I've installed the feet and uh, now we're just going to get them up on the roof and decide where to put them exactly. Since you don't need to see me huffing and puffing up the ladder, uh, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do this. Ta-da! Alright, so we've got the panels up here. And I think that this is the configuration that we're going to put them in. So what you're looking at here is 480 watts of solar. The kit came with two 190 watt panels. And then we uh, added an additional 100 watt panel. We've got it all screwed to the roof. I just got done die coring it. And the uh, cables as you see run right into that vent and the solar array wires come down this wall through the wall and plug into the head here and then what we did was the battery output came out we put a 30 amp fuse in line and then we ran that power line which was not very far right over here to the DC side of the fuse box and we plugged into it where the converter line used to come in. But since we eliminated the converter in this trailer, since it was no longer necessary, that, that made it easy. So that the solar then feeds down into here, it works its magic and decides how much it needs to send to the battery, sends it over here to the fuse box, and then of course it routes back to the batteries. So that was a really clean way of installing that. Then as it pertains with the IC inverter switch, all it plugs into it is a phone cord looking plug. And then of course we ran it back here, actually down the wall, into the area behind and underneath here, which you can see in the other videos, and over to the IC2000 series inverter. 
So here we have the IC2000 inverter charger transfer switch installed. And what we did was we rerouted the umbilical cord coming into the trailer. Uh, we unhooked it from the back of the fuse box, routed it over here, hooked it up, and then we had to purchase uh, about 15 feet of 6 gauge 3, 6 3 wire. And then we ran that cord from here, from the output here, back over to the to the back of the fuse box. And in this particular trailer, uh, it was actually not that big of a deal. Uh, we ran the wires up through the wall, and then the fuse box, I know it's kind of dark, you're not going to be able to see, but the fuse box is, is right directly over there. So the umbilical comes in, ran it across so it's up out of the way, over here the inverter, and then you know the line from the inverter uh, across over to the other side of the trailer there and then directly up and into the fuse box so that's where the inverter wires come through into the battery bank and as i mentioned uh, he's got four 12 volt batteries and of course this is from the other side of the trailer right now the trailer is not hooked up to shore power we walk in turn the inverter on it goes through a little bit of a and I think you probably heard that. That was the microwave kicking on. And there we go. We're going to turn the charger off. Because we don't want the charger on. It takes a second. There we go. So right now the whole coach has AC availability. It pulls that power directly from the battery bank of the unit. And that of course is dependent upon not only your type but how many batteries you have. So. Uh, Dad and Mom have four 12 volt batteries. I'm not exactly sure what the amp hour rating is of all of those, but so that so this rig's going to be able to operate most of its uh, AC power devices uh, within limitations. It's certainly not going to be able to run the air conditioner, but it's going to be able to run the coffee pot and uh, and for limited time the microwave. And one of the reasons that Mom wanted this system though was the sh so she could actually run the fridge off of the battery bank while they were going down the road instead of running the propane. So they'll be able to shut their propane off and uh, the inverter here will take care of, of keeping the fridge cold going down the road. So the process when you first come in to set this up is you arrive at, uh, let's say you arrive at a friend's house and you're going to mooch dock. So you, you, again you turn it on, once we're here we're set on shore power, we hit enter this is going to allow us to modify or tell the inverter charger transfer switch how much power to expect to come in. So let's say that you're only uh, able to hook up to your standard house 15 amp uh, power source. So you, you can adjust that by coming down and setting it all the way down to 15 amps. And let's go to 14. That way it knows that no matter what power the coach is pulling, it's only going to allow it to pull up to 14 amps from the shore power source. Then if the coach for some reason needs additional power, the inverter will take over and will pull that additional power from the battery pack. Now of course if you hook up in, uh, you pull in, you're going to hook up to say a 30 amp instead. You come in here, set it to, let's just say 29 amps, and then you hit enter. And so right now the coach, is, coach knows that the power source, that uh, the shore power source that you're going to be utilizing is only a 30 amp. And of course we're here at the mom and dad's house, even though they're not hooked up, they do have a 50 amp. So we are going to, we're going to hit enter here again, and we're going to kick that back up to 50 50 amps because this system is capable of, tr of uh, passing through all 50 amps. We hit enter and we're good to go. Well if you like this video please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already please subscribe and follow Angie, Jazz and I on our journey. If you have any questions or comments please leave them below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you down the road.